Hey guys, welcome to yet another interesting video based on data mining. So in today's video, we'll be seeing what is attribute subset selection in data reduction strategy for data mining. So uh, we have saw uh, what does data cube aggregation in our previous video. So in this video, let's see what does attribute subset selection. So from the name, uh, you can get to know that it's like selecting a particular attribute into a subset. So like you have a super set of different items. So like consider a case of 50 or 100 different attributes are there. And so you will be reducing into a particular level of 25 different attributes. So as to create our data cube or to create your tuple, which is used for a data mining system. So that's an overview. So let's look what does attribute subject selection. So first of all, it reduces the data set by removing the irrelevant. It identifies the irrelevant attributes or redundant attributes that are there or dimensions in a data cube and then it tries to uh, fit to a particular level so that it can be fed to the data mining system and the uh, main goal of this attribute subject selection is to identify or to find a minimum set of attribute such that the resulting probability distribution which is calculated after that of the data classes is as close as to the original one. Uh, with many different attributes like uh, this means that the original attribute or the original data set will have n number of different attributes 50 or 100 attribute so what this uh, means is that the original attribute uh, probability distribution should be equal to the one or the new one which you created it should be equal uh, with all the probability distributions it has so uh, the main uh, thing is that you should have the probability distribution of the original and the new one has to be same uh, then uh, it focuses on mining on a reduced set of attributes that has an additional benefit. It reduces the number of attributes appearing in the discovered pattern making it easier to understand. So it's obvious that if you have less number of attributes you can draw the pattern easily. You can discover all the main main interestingness patterns or measures in that and if it's very large it's very difficult and it's time consuming. So. Uh, for attribute subset selection, you have four different steps. You have the very first one that is stepwise forward selection. You have stepwise backward elimination. You have combination of uh, stepwise forward selection and stepwise backward elimination and you have decision tree induction. So for stepwise forward selection, I have considered a flowchart so that it becomes easier for you to understand. So you begin with all the data attributes which you have. Then you initialize a reduced attribute set to an empty set. So it's a basically a initialization step that goes with stepwise forward selection. Then you select the best attribute from that using a statistical measure. You will calculate some kind of uh, mathematical measures or calculation from that. And then you select the best attribute from that particular set. And then you check whether the selected attribute exceeds the ST. ST stands for the stopping threshold. It's like a parameter is there, decision parameter is there. So if it is yes, then you add it to the reduced attribute set and if it's no, it the algorithm stops there. And if it's yes, and if it's added to the attribute set, and then it's again checked whether there are any more other attributes from this uh, reduced attribute set. And if it's yes, then it will go into the loop and it will execute. So this is how the uh, you calculate or you just select the attributes in a forward manner in a stepwise way. Then you have a backward elimination. So it's the same, but with some kind of differences, uh, minor differences there. You begin with all the attributes you have. You initialize the reduced attribute set that I've written in RAS to uh, the initial attribute set. Here it was empty set, but here it's initial attribute set. Then you select the worst attribute uh, in the uh, reduced set using a uh, statistical measure which you have in this. So here you select the best attribute, whereas here you select the worst attribute from that. And you just check this condition again here. Does the selected attribute exceeds or it's greater than the stopping threshold? If it's yes, it goes here. And if it's no, then remove the selected attribute from the reduced attribute set and it goes in this way and it uh, executes in a loop. Now, uh, to use the best of both this, you just combine uh, these two techniques that is the stepwise forward selection, stepwise backward selection. And so uh, the methods are combined at each step and select the best attribute and remove the worst among the remaining attributes. And so you have the fourth kind of uh, strategy for attribute subject selection that is you have the decision tree induction. So for representing certain kind of representations, you have kind of decision tree algorithm such as ID3 that is iterative diatomizer uh, three algorithm. You have C4.5 which is statistical classifier and you have card that is classification and regression tree algorithms. And so uh, if you induce a kind of decision tree or if you plot some particular graph, you will have probably have a flowchart like this. So uh, which induces a flowchart like structure where you have non-leaf node, leaf node and branch nodes. 
so uh, you have the leaf nodes which are responds to uh, a test on the attribute and after you execute that particular test then to represent it the resultant values are represented on a particular branch so that branch represents the outcome of that particular test from this uh, non leaf node and all the leaf nodes represents a class prediction so well that goes all regarding the attribute subset selection in data reduction strategy so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you found you got educated by watching this video please do like share comment and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching this video